All right, we are going to break 2 6 up into two parts. So, what's listed on your homework sheet, we're only going to do part of the problems today, and the rest we're going to do tomorrow. So, we only have two slides that we're going to be focusing on. And what I need you to do is to first write this scary looking equation, but it is not scary at all. Yes. It has a very nice mustache on its side, but that is what I call a fancy parenthesis. So I'll wait till everybody's got this written down. Each of them have an if at the end, and I'll tell you what that means in a moment. These are called piecewise functions or special functions, yes, but specifically they are piecewise because we're only taking pieces of these lines. So there are multiple ways to graph these. I find it easiest if we do a table of values because then you know exactly where you're points are going and you're just going to be connecting them with lines. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take each one separately. So we're going to take the first one and I'm going to have that in red. Okay, we'll do them in different colors so it's a little bit easier to see. So we need to find values that are within that range. So less than or equal to negative 4. So we're going to have negative 4 for sure be one of our numbers. What other numbers could we use? What would be less than negative 4? Negative 5, negative 6. Okay, we're only going to pick three points for each one, figure out where they are. So if we put in a negative 4 into this equation right here, there's nowhere to put that value, correct? So our answer is simply just going to be negative 3 for all of them. What? I'll show you what it is in a second. Just bear with me here. Okay, next one we're going to do is g of x is equal to x. Do you need to get a drink? <laughs> doesn't bother me, but if you want to get rid of your hiccups, you can sure try. Okay, we need to find numbers in between negative 4 and 2. Now, when they give you a range, you definitely want to pick the two numbers that they give you. So we're going to pick negative 4. We're also going to pick 2, and then we're going to pick another one in between. What one do you want to pick? 1. Zero. No, 1. Zero. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, if we put a negative 4 in for x, what's our answer? Negative 4. If we put in a 0, what do we get? If we put in a 2, what do we get? 2. Question. We're going to put open circles on those. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Good question, though. Very, very valid question. We'll get to that. Last one, g of x is equal to negative x plus 6. Table of values. Now we need to pick numbers that are greater than or equal to 2. So we've got 2, we'll pick 3, and we'll pick 4. So if we put this 2 right here, what is our answer going to end up being? Four. Put a three right here, we get three. Put a four here, we get two. Just simplifying that equation. So we're going to be plotting these, okay? And Morgan's question about not including negative four and two because we don't have the lines underneath these less thans, we're going to take care of by using open circles instead of a closed circle. So we have to pay attention to what these inequalities are to know how we're going to graph it. So on the first one, which was our red equation, we need to plot these points on our graph. So I want everybody to draw an XY graph, 
and put, um, let's do six dashes in each direction. So I'll wait till everybody's got that drawn. So six dashes up, down, left, and right. So I'm going to plot these three points, negative 4, negative 3, negative 5, negative 3, negative 6, negative 3. I'm going to connect them and draw an arrow to the left because it's all the numbers that are less than negative 4. So it's going to go forever in that direction. Now, we do have a closed circle right here. <laughs> because we have a less than or equal to. Okay, on the next one we're going to have to have two open circles on the ends. That's the reason that we want these, so that when we graph this first point, negative 4, negative 4, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, we have to have an open circle on that location. We also have to have an open circle when we graph 2, 2. It's going to go through the point 0, 0, so we can connect here. And there are no arrows on this one because it's a range of numbers. We're only looking at the values between negative 4 and 2. And the last one, the purple one, when we plot our points, we do need a closed circle because it's greater than or equal to all the 2 values. So we'll graph 2, 4. That's closed. We have 3, 3. And we have 4, 2. And this one's going to go on forever in the right-hand direction because it's greater than or equal to 2. It doesn't stop at anything. So a piecewise graph is a bunch of graphs in pieces. Question? Does one of those have to be an open circle? The only time you're going to have open circles is when you see less thans or greater thans without the equal underneath them. That's the only time you'll have open circles. You should get less few points for getting If you don't understand it fully yet, just give me one more opportunity to show you on the next example. But are there questions on this one? Okay, let's try it one more time and see if it helps out any confusion that you do have. So I'll wait till you get the piecewise equation written down. your homework, you're going to be doing four of these graphs, and I do have graph paper available if you want to use it. I'll come back to this slide, but one thing I want to point out, somebody asked this before. This equation right here is the same thing as writing y equals negative 3. So if you were going to graph the line y equals negative 3, it would be a line that goes exactly through the negative 3 on the y-axis. So that's why you're always going to get a negative 3 for those answers. So when you see a constant, or a number there, that's what it's talking about. So for instance, on this one, we have the equation f of x equals 8, or y equals 8. So that's a line that goes through 8 up here at the top, like this. But we only want to draw it where x is less than or equal to negative 1. 
So we're going to start our three table of values again. For the first one, we want to pick numbers that are less than or equal to negative 1. So we can pick negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Now there's nowhere to put these x values, so this is our equation right here. We will always get 8 for our answer. And that will give us that horizontal line when we graph it. So let's go ahead and graph this one right away before our next table of values. We'll go negative 1. And it's a closed circle. So on your graph, you can do dashes. I'll wait until you get your graph before we move on. Um, you can do 10 dashes in each direction. We have our first one done. The next one in the middle here, our 2x, we have to pick numbers between negative 1 and 4. So negative 1 and 4 need to be in our list. What's the number in between you want to use? Yeah. Any number in between them. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we take, and this is our equation, y equals 2x, if we put our negative 1 in for x, our answer is negative 2. What about 0? And 4. All right, so we're going to plot these three points. Do these need to be open or closed? Open. So this first point right here needs to be open, and this last point needs to be open when we plot them. So negative 1, negative 2 needs to be an open circle. 0, 0 is the point that it goes through, and 4, 8 is open. And then you can connect those. So that's the second part of the piecewise graph. And the last one is y equals negative 4 minus x. So we need to pick numbers that are greater than or equal to 6. Question. Um, why don't you make the 0, 0 and open um, Because the only values that it can't be are the ones on the ends. It can be everything in between, but yes. the one in the middle it can be. Yes. Why do we need 3 dots for that? You you don't need three dots. If you can tell where it's going to go, you certainly don't need a third point. I'm just reiterating the fact that if you get three points for each one, you know you're going to have your lines straight. But you certainly don't need to if you don't want to have this middle point. <clears throat> Other questions before we do the last one? Okay. All right, so we need numbers that are bigger than or equal to six. So we'll start with six and we'll just go up six, seven, and eight. So if we put a 6 in right here, what are we going to get for an answer? Negative 10. Put a 7 in. All right. So we'll plot these. Are they open or closed circles? All of them are closed. So we'll go 6, negative 10. And this one's going to kind of go off the screen here. with an arrow going to the right. So you take it in pieces, hence piecewise graph. Questions? All right, so we're only going to do 12 through 15. Your homework sheet says something different, but only do 12 through 15 today.